Ashley Victoria Robinson. And I'm Veronica Valencia, and we're coming to you live from the Popverse, celebrating the best in TV, movies, and comics, and this is the Popverse at New York City Comic Con Insider. Sponsored by Crunchyroll. This series is dedicated to highlighting some of the coolest things you can see at New York Comic Con, and to give you a sense of what it's like to be here with us at the con. Let's go! Hey there, Popverse. Veronica Valencia here, and I am joined by the director of One Piece Film Red, Goro Tanaguchi, as well as Mikey McNamara, who will be translating for us today. Tanaguchi-san, konnichiwa. Kyo wa yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hi, What message are you hoping fans will be able to take away from this movie? I think there are several different ways to watch a film. And there are a lot of elements in this film action, emotional drama, tears, and music. And what each individual enjoys and what resonates with them, what speaks to them, I think that answer is something that everyone has inside. Okay. <laughs> and also the film is designed in a way that even if you've only heard of One Piece or read a few volumes, you can still have a lot of fun. And I think we've really flexed and leveraged everything that the Japanese animation industry can do in this film. And I hope that everyone gets the chance to enjoy that and see it in theaters. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us here today. And we'll see you next time. You know, we've we've gone on and done now two campaigns since Vox Machina with the Mighty Nine and their own epic, incredible personal journey. We're still now exploring the chaos and wonder that is the Bell's Hells narrative in our can third campaign. But Vox Machina to me is always where all this started. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shut up, Travis. <laughs> you cried. You cried at New York Shut Comic Con. Shut up. Shut up. Everyone in the audience gets one more day of life. We made Matt cry. Well done. <laughs> Eat it up, mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's. <sighs> sorry. You got it's nothing weird. to be sorry. <laughs> we love you, Matt. No, oh, love you guys. <sighs> For so much of these friendships, it's where it began, and it's where it's blossomed. I'm just so grateful. <laughs> hey guys, is it is it kosher if we all just like run up and give Matt a group hug right we now? Hug we go on? hug on Matt. We go hug on Matt. You're making it worse. We love you. <laughs> Whose hand is that? <laughs> Hi, this is Ashley Victoria Robinson coming to you live from New York Comic Con here in the Popverse, and I am joined by my fellow Canadian, image founder, creator of Spawn, movie mogul, king of action figures, Todd McFarlane, how are you? Good, day one here of the con. We're back after a couple year hiatus, mm -hmm. so uh, it should be exciting. We'll see how it turns out by Sunday. You started out this week, this weekend, with yep. some amazing Spawn movie news. Can you share some of the details with our viewers who might not have heard the announcement? The three that we announced yesterday, A-list talent, right? Absolutely. Uh, Scott Silver, Scott Silver is the co-writer and writer of The Joker, and The Joker 
two, and a couple movies that were huge. I was a huge fan of, like uh, Eight Mile and The Fighter, and a whole host of other ones if you look them up. Um, so to get the Joker writer, boom, we got Academy Award uh, nominated writer. Then uh, Malcolm Spellman. Malcolm Spellman, besides doing things like uh, Bel Air and Empire, which are both great dramas, which is to me his super talent, uh, also uh, was the writer on Falcon and the Winter Soldier mm -hmm. and is writing the upcoming Captain America number four. So if you like DC movies and or uh, Marvel movies, I, I grabbed an A-lister for both and they're both <laughs> gonna be on there. And then uh, a young up and coming guy, Matt Mixon, uh, who brings his sort of youth and talent to the, to the mix here. So we've got an A-team, you know, to go along with, you know, Jamie Foxx and Jason Blum, Blumhouse. And, you know, I, I, as I keep adding these pieces, I, I, I become sort of the weak link of the chain. And once we go get ready to sell this, then it, it'll work, right? Who's not going to want, you know, a, a, a AAA property right now? Again, Spawn was the number one selling comic book last year. Uh, and all these people who have been attached to not only big movies, but superhero movies and have been nominated and in some cases won Academy Awards, mm -hmm. right? So let's go, right? So. Todd, thank you for joining sure. us here today at New York Comic Con in the Popper. here at New York Comic Con where Bandai Namco has put on an incredible display with multiple booths for fans to enjoy, including this One Piece booth right behind me where if you're a One Piece fan and excited for the upcoming One Piece film Red, this is the place to be. At the One Piece booth, which also features a huge display of the Thousand Sunny ship, fans will be able to play a 15 minute demo of the One Piece Odyssey video game to be released soon. And speaking of gaming, there is even an area for fans to test and play the One Piece trading card game that they can pick up this coming winter. In addition to gaming, the One Piece booth has an amazing manga setup that features all 100 volumes of the One Piece manga. All throughout the booth, fans will also be able to see the many posters and figurines on display, including Shanks and Uta figurines from One Piece Film Red. Up next comes a remarkable display celebrating the newest addition to the Dragon Ball franchise, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. The Dragon Ball Super Superhero booth features an incredible display of Piccolo, Gohan, and the Gammas appearing in front of a recreation of the Red Ribbon Army location from the movie, all of this laying under a giant Shenron. Also on display and revealed at New York Comic Con is an orange Piccolo figurine, the newest transformation unleashed by Piccolo in Superhero. There is also art from the movie on display, approved by Toriyama-san themselves. There are trading card game stations, multiple photo opportunities, including one for the upcoming Dragon Ball The Breakers video game, which is also available to demo here. Tamashi Nations brings with it to New York Comic Con a remarkable display of figurines, including some from the most iconic series, including Spy Family, Jujutsu Kaisen, Squid Game, and Ultraman. Speaking of Ultraman, there are copies of the Ultraman comic available for fans to grab, and there has even been an official Ultraman suit actor on site to take pictures with fans. Veronica Valencia here, and I am with the newly crowned champion of the New York Comic Con Cosplay Championship, the Gnome Queen. How are you feeling? Um, beyond excited. Still can't believe it actually happened. I'm so honored. Can you tell us a little bit about your cosplay here? Sure. Um, this is a Somnicanth armor from the video game Monster Hunter Rise. Um, I spent about six months on this, putting it all together. Wow. And can you tell us how you got started doing cosplay? Yeah, I've been cosplaying for about eight years. Um, and every time I do a new cosplay, I like to add a new skill to my tool belt. Um, and this one kind of brought all the things I've learned in the last eight years all together. 
speaking of skills, did you learn any new ones when creating this ensemble? I did, yeah. I actually learned how to 3D model for this cosplay. Um, I'd never done that before, and so that was a first time skill for me. What inspired you to create this particular cosplay? Um, I like to choose a cosplay for competitions that really kind of covers all of the gamut from sewing to armor to special effects. Um, I really feel like that's the best foot to put forward in a contest and that's how I came up with this armor. And what is your favorite part of the whole piece? Um, my favorite part is probably my sword um, just because it's so gigantic and ridiculous um, and it's got um, motion activated lights and sound. And there's a whole lot of pieces going on. Is there anything that you would like to point out that maybe audiences maybe just didn't see? Um, yeah, I think it would probably be um, my sword motion activated lights and sound. So if I give it some motion, the lights change color and a sound effect comes out. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. And once again, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining this edition of New York Comic Con Insider. We have had the best time taking you to one of our favorite Comic Con events of the whole year. I have been Ashley Victoria Robinson. And I'm Veronica Valencia, and we'll see you next time.